So, Saturday morning here. Saturday morning, nine o'clock. I'm really early. That's the benefit of the jet lag, that you wake up really early. And I'm here currently at Hawkesbury River. That's a small town in Australia, it's north of Sydney. One hour train drive and I make a walk here through the bush. And first I visit the small town and that's the small town at the end. It looks on the map completely different. Look there, there are buildings there even. There in the distance on the on the island there. There's an island here in the middle. And it looks fantastical. And there's the main train station, uh, the train road to uh, Newcastle. Um, yeah. The sun will come out later. I'm nearly sure. People take a boat here, boat tour. This is perhaps three hundred dollar to hire such a boat, and some and I will do this. That is the train to Newcastle. I think it's really slow. It takes it takes forever. Jesus! And even at this time, it was boat hire there. Yeah. some rain here and now oh there's even a pool here a safe pool here for children at the end there's fence all around uh, against sharks so that uh, sharks at the end this is some kind of uh, river area whatever but this is open to the ocean so that uh, the sharks are not taking your children So, there's a little bit blue sky, but not too much. This is not too bad for me because here in Australia, this is horrible if there's sun, pure sun, because then you have really hot, hot and protection. And this looks really nice here. There's an island, and there's even a beach, a sand beach there. This is so fantastic. What here are? And there's the train. By the way, the train goes here through. And along the river or river landscape, this is more salty river and this is really flat. I see the trees in the water. Um, but this is, I think, also low tide here currently. And there are some buildings there in the island. So, and we go now here around and you can see there in the distance there's blue sky. And I think later this day there will be sun. And I'm prepared. Uh, and have some sunscreen with me. Without sunscreen you die here. <laughs> this is really the case because you have then I did it once and this is horrible. Don't do this in Australia, take always sunscreen with you. Even if uh, the sky looks as cloudy as it is today, this is only half an hour is enough and your skin is burnt. 
So, there's the end of the tip here. You can hire there the jet skis. And the boat here, and drive here around. Hmm. Cable. Some kind of a cable. I don't know how long this is, the trail. It's raining, leave me a little bit. There's some fishermen, a woman. I don't know, man. And this is the tip if you go around here. And this is some bigger boats. And you can meander here through. Oh, what's this? It's, a, it's some kind of a crab. Jesus. There, yeah, it goes. Kind of a crap. And it's two. <laughs> yeah, this is the bigger version than I have seen in, uh, in Vancouver in the beginning last year. Oh, there's some spiders sitting here in the air. And this is, by the way, a nice sandstone here. It's a typical sandstone here around. This is exactly this stones here. It's everything full with this. And this looks like uh, when you cut them, here for example, there's such a stone. So cut such a stone, such a rock, and then you have, wow, it's everything full here with these crabs. Interesting, interesting area. Everywhere there's crabs here. The good thing is there's no one currently. Oh, wow, this is everything full here with crabs. They're sitting because of the low tide here. Yeah, and then uh, you have here some ships, some vessels where you can, can even go to the open ocean. This here, they're made for the open ocean and not here for this. Uh, river area alone and there's a pelican sitting there on the wood pole. I hope that it's not biting me. Servus! 1989, You can come with your boat, unload your boat. Drive for in use. So here are some people directly here at the coast here, Parsley Bay. And there's some houses there on top. Looks really like a idyllic place here. And it's a nice house here. But it's really a trash house. Nice, down at the beach. So now I'm top, uh, I'm on top, I mean, nearly, so this is 160 meter, 160 meter higher. And then below, um, and now we walk in the direction of a dam, of 
for them through the national park here and I don't expect to meet so many people here and this is part of the great northern walk I think it's called and this is a walk which goes from Sydney to Newcastle several days and this is one part of it and first I have planned yesterday to go to uh, Blue Mountains but the problem is currently that uh, first I recognized that nearly all of the trails are closed because of flooding of rock slides anything sliding nearly everything closed and then when I found something new really interesting then I've seen that it would take four hours to go there <laughs> this is outrageous uh, four hours to go to the Blue Mountains for 100 kilometer and then can I nearly walk here yeah, or take the bike uh, faster um, perhaps it would be would have been really quicker but uh, there was replacement from Sydney to Penrith and then later in the track in the trail like the last time uh, but this didn't happen uh, again a replacement there somewhere uh, in between so per direction two replacements and uh, no way uh, this will take four hours eight hours a day uh, to go there so uh, no chance this summer again to go there but it doesn't matter so I went here north this was only one hour I could even go do two hours this is still shorter than to go to the Blue Mountains in a standard uh, standard um, uh, standard connection uh, so that's the reason why I'm here now in the Hawkesbury River and uh, I walk now south to Conan no it's not Conan um, yeah something similar this is the train station uh, and this goes here through the woods I think it's only 12 kilometer it's not too long but this was the best I can could do and there was another trail it was really interesting this was the so-called Birovra and Birovra North uh, North Great Northern Trail, something like this. So one part would be Birovra to Apple Tree Bay, which I've done already. I think there's a movie somewhere. And then it goes around on the other side with the Great Northern Walk. So this is uh, definitely interesting because there's a possibility to extend 12 kilometers. It's not very much. Uh, I think 12 kilometers was written there, six, seven hours or whatever, but uh, this will take only, I think, two and a half hour here now. So I think at 1 p.m. I will be at the train station if I'm not too slow. And the first part here is, by the way, is such, called such a fire trail here, so that uh, trucks can drive through here. You can see this on the left side, perhaps the black black uh, uh, how's it called I forgot it yeah but everything burned here several years ago you can see this and then the green recovered is there someone following me no and yeah and here's everything full with dried branches and uh, but this is a really wet summer here um, for two summers now it's really wet everything last summer it was raining only there was nearly no sun and uh, this summer this was even not warm really um, it was always like now 25 degree it is perfect I would say but for Australian standards here it's really cold um, several years ago I had here 47 degree in Sydney 
This was the hottest summer day ever recorded. And there's the water where I came from. It looks far away, but it was only half an hour, I think. Um, no, it took me already one hour to go up here with all the watching there around below. Uh, but the climb up is also only half an hour. And everything is still green here. Um, much greener than it would be in a normal summer. It would be everything really dried out. Yeah, especially on the ground. And here, yeah, but uh, next year's it will be much drier than some when again. So everything is recovering here from the fires. From uh, ah, this was crazy, by the way, in 2019 when they even were made some models, the bushfires here they were so strong that there was smoke rising around the globe here. You could measure the globe, then uh, the, the smoke in... Oh! That's uh, That's not a endemic species here. This was a... How is it called? This is what you eat in the US on Thanksgiving. Uh, I forgot the name. Didn't expect to have one of those here. So, that's the trail. The Great North. It's called the Great North Walk. The Great North Walk. I will watch out for this. Coven, not Conan. Coven. 10.7 kilometer. Uh, 12 kilometer was correct. That is not much. 12 kilometer, but I finished today with 12 kilometer already because I will have a look what's going on here and then I can relax a little bit at home and perhaps this evening also go to the fitness studio. This would be perhaps a good idea to go to the fitness studio today. Because now is the jet lag issue coming to an end. It's always horrible. You start, I started on Monday, arrived Tuesday evening, but that's at the end, it's only 24 hours pure travel time from. Yeah, and it's not pure travel time. This is when you. When the airplane starts and then lands in Sydney, this is 24 hours. And everything before and after, you have additional to count. For me, this was. Perhaps three hours before I was at the airport, and then additionally perhaps two hours, is five hours before, and then but only after perhaps two hours. This means seven hours additionally. Yeah, let's say it's 31 hours. It's not two days. It's even only not one and a half day. Even not. It's not too much. You get a little bit back when you when you go back to Europe because of the time shift. Um, because you start here in the morning and then 24 hours later you are then in Europe. I mean, at the same time. You start here at 6 and then you are 6 the next day in Europe. So, that's a typical surrounding, what you would have here, but I expect later it gets much nicer. Uh, in the cool, oh, there's Kakabura. Kakabura. Perhaps we get some closer, some men. And I told you somewhere that the first time I thought that it's some some baboons or whatever. What is the Kakabura? Uh, it makes such a noise. And I expect also that here we are on top. This is a little bit different than below. That's perhaps some. That's where it gets a little bit more tropical. Yeah, perhaps not. It's not like in the Blue Mountains. It's a 
typical sandstone here from the Sydney Basin, which is very big. And all this is typical sandstone deposition structures from the desert, which it was once. So, I quit now, perhaps for now. To not stretch this here with my uninteresting, uninteresting uh, talking here. So this is the Brooklyn Dam. And I think there are some people camping there. There's also some benches. No. Oh. Nothing really special for Europe standards. What's really amazing is that you have to see roses here. And it's so noisy. Cicades here. No, yeah, I go further. So on the right side, there's again a dam. There's a fence, by the way. Protection that you don't walk there. And have not animals. Jesus, this is loud. So cicades. And they are so noisy. Oh, there's a camping area. There's a tent. Unbelievable <laughs> how noisy they are, <clears throat> but I think they live uh, close to the water here, and then a little bit further they are gone. Oh, this is the nice toxic looking blueberry here. Oh. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So, the sun is still behind the clouds. This is uh, perfect. But I expected a little bit more the sun. Where's the sun? It's above me. It should be above me. Soon. In this noon time. There's only a little bit blue there. But I think in the afternoon when I'm gone, then it's more blue sky. So currently there's not so much happening here. And I will go down then, somewhere, to, uh, to the water again, in the direction of the water, somewhere later. So, a little bit further, and uh, I'm here now on a rock, in a viewpoint. I think it's even on the map as a viewpoint, yeah, but you can't go through, really through the bush here. And then in the distance is a little bit water, because of all the channels meandering through here, whatever. And uh, this is very nice eucalyptus trees, bushland. And I think we walk here on top somewhere there along, I'm not sure. You can see there's no building, nothing. In the middle of the bush here, the bushland in the Kooringai National Park. Nice. Now the sun is a little bit coming out here.
So, there's another viewpoint here. So, I was standing there on the other side there. There, somewhere, where the rocks are, the cliffs, whatever. And yeah, there's a trail, there's even the trail. I can see the trail here going here on top, on the ridge. And there's uh, this is indeed the ridge, and on the other side, there is uh, the highway. And the train goes there. And there's again this uh, water channels there, whatever. And I think in the distance, very much in the distance, no, it's not. It's, I think this is called, this is, it's uh, still very much behind where the open ocean is. I think this is the lake where the entrance is. The entrance is a town. I think I made a video of this. Yo! Oh, it's again raining here. So it was forecasted for today that there's sun and uh, 28, 9 degree. And now there's rain again. The weather in Sydney, it's never, ne never as you, as, would you, as you would expect. But I think uh, it will be warmer later, but I'm not sure. You never know. But it's okay. It's okay currently. There's so much green here. It's good in the rain, not in the brutal sun. So, it's so only four kilometer. And four kilometer, so this was relatively short to 12 kilometer. But it's okay, it's a, to have a first impression. Tomorrow, I definitely go. By the way, I will go to the hay market and get some fruits again. Um, and it's a good place to get fruits. Perhaps there are better places, but I have to go there. Um, I'm there close to it anyway. So I will. Uh, go to the hay market and get some fruits. It's also relatively cheap there. Tja, mangoes, bananas, everything. A huge pack. Normally this lasts one week and I buy there. What's today? Saturday. It's very perfect time. It's really nice if you wake up at 6 in the morning, then you have all the day for you. So... Now let's see. Uh, it looked a little bit like that was it was going down to there. Uh, to the water there below. There's somewhere to a channel later. I think this will happen. Oh, nice. Structures. Yeah, let's see what comes. And by the way, the, this is today, January 14th, I think. And the video will be released in half a year because currently I release currently only one movie per week. And I will keep this uh, still because there are some phases, let's say, perhaps, I'm not sure. Uh, where there's uh, no videos and so I can keep constantly the videos coming in every week, every Sunday one and I'm currently half a year ago I think in summer or October, I'm not sure, I think it goes to October now where I release the videos there which is coming tomorrow so this video will be perhaps released then in summer, six months later. Well, no, not in summer. I, I know it, to be honest, in April. 
April, May. Yeah, whatever. Um, there's some more travels planned. And there's some more videos coming. And well, let's see. Uh, I'll do this as long as I can have uh, more than one year, perhaps, in advance some videos. This is crazy, there's 50 videos. Hmm. No, I will not reach it. I will not even reach half a year. I have perhaps 15 videos currently in the pipeline still waiting. I don't know if this is even so many. Yeah. Um, no, yeah. Let's see. This gives a little bit of buffer. And there's some more planned. Definitely this year, three new countries. Three new countries and one new continent. One new continent. Yeah. Second last continent. And the last continent will be a little, a little bit more difficult. Um, yeah, let's see. Now oh, it's the sun coming out again. But I think I will not burn my skin this time. Um, because I, has, I hate sunscreen. It's oily. Titanium dioxide. Strange mixture. So, I think you are always view points. No. Yeah, but there was now some more people appearing. And regarding the trail, you look, uh, you see how it looks here. And uh, this is not really nice to walk here on this strange road. Um, this is. Uh, one not so nice trail here to be honest currently always walking on this type of road but it's still nice it's still on a higher level compared to germany or whatever now for you if you are from somewhere else then germany is perhaps more interesting um it's still great here absolutely absolutely a little bit more Deviation, let's say, would be great. Tomorrow, um, I go to the south. Let's see um, if there is a train connection, a good train connection, because it's always a little bit horrible with the trains. Here it was only one hour, I said. I told you this was perfect. I can even go two hours. This is not a problem. As I said, Blue Mountain takes four hours. <laughs> And Blue Mountains normally the standard time is three hours. So slow the train there. Naja. And uh, so two hours is not a problem with the train. Two hours in the morning, starting at seven, then you're there at nine. Can be even there at ten or eleven, would be not a problem. Um, depends how long you want to walk. Uh, but I will make tomorrow again a relatively short walk, not more than 12 kilometer, 12-15, 12, a little bit around the town. I've, I was there already. Oh, on the right side is now the road. I'm directly on the cliff here. Go steep down on the left side and deep steep down on the right side. On the ridge here, this is a relatively steep ridge. And this is really beautiful there. This is more tropical climate there. Here it's a little bit more dry and higher here. And you will see then tomorrow that there is really a change in everything. Oh, the highway is so noisy. And you can drive here only 120 km per hour horrible well, again the plateau there some kind of balcony where you can stay and watch the traffic oh it's humid here it's humid and warm it's perhaps 27 degree 
noon time. I think the peak, temperature peak will be 3 p.m. p.m. today and the forecast for all the next week is around 28 29 a little bit below 30 so ah, it gets more and more noisy um, yeah I will have a look on the map there I am here So this part is now much more interesting, as I told you it's always at the end, I think it's only two kilometers left and it's winding here a little bit up and down, a footpath that was over, uh, there even uh, walking on a cliff there a little bit, but there's now more people coming, I think most of the people come from what was it? Conan Coven from Coven and go in the direction of the bay. It's perhaps also not too bad because then you have the little bit boring part in between and then you come to the nice bay there. All the restaurants and whatever. I think here in Coven will be nothing but who cares um goes down now there's other people here resting already so I'm really not in a good condition three weeks was enough in the holiday season to uh, make me feel a little bit less stronger where do I go I have to go down here, there's no easy way, then I have to take my hands. What's left? One and a half kilometer. One and a half kilometer. I think it will go up then, again, there's somewhere. But that's definitely more a hiking trail here. So, it's much warmer now, by the way, much, much warmer. Some blue spots again in the sky. I think this afternoon there will be some sun. So, Ooh. yeah. I'm too weak now after three weeks of of uh, doing no sports nearly. I was running, by the way, my standard standard running trail running trail whatever you call it and 10 kilometer it's nearly 10 kilometer and this time I was three minutes faster than my fastest time before after I rested two weeks because I was also a little bit sick two weeks perhaps I think too much infections too many infections from all the traveling later then because I also did not use really my mask and when I came here I used it consequently all the time and now I feel absolutely brilliant nothing it should not mean anything but um, there's currently all the Chinese coming after the border opened after they opened the border and uh, up to 50% of them 
were in one plane sick or infected, let's say, COVID. So, oh, nice trees by the way here. And someone cut it then. Mm, it smells really nice here. Really aromatic. Don't know what this is. Ah, the sound comes out. Looks much nicer on uh, nicer on the film. On the film, whatever. When the sun is out, it gets really quick hot. So, I think this was the last uh, ascent here. Did film. I think I always do not film when I <laughs> climb up because it's much more breathing than going down, logically. And here, I think it goes now because the clock says it's only 700 meter. Um, perhaps one kilometer to the train station and this makes also sense that it goes down because the train road the tracks they were below here and then it seems this is exactly what I said it's currently 12.30 12.30, but only because I rested there several times to have a view and there's no question, I always can recommend tracks in Australia So, by the way I have no shoes My last shoes, they were falling apart, even if they were new. So I make a complaint and hopefully get my money back. Still got nothing back because of the holiday season. It's a little bit unusual for me now. Uh, no, it's not so much unusual because I've done this already twice nearly, but not so long to stay in Australia over the European winter. And it's crazy if you come back and then it gets spring again. That's it's nice. That's how you should do it. If you are rich, you, sh you will do it perhaps. Or well, perhaps not, I'm not sure. It's also I would even go perhaps uh, in regions where it's even more winter, perhaps in the north, somewhere in winter, because what we have is winter, this is not really a nice winter, but uh, winter where you have really all the time snow um, and everything is white. This is also very interesting, but not such a muddy, dirty, grey weather. Yeah, I should stop filming now. I think it's still longer than expected because I think here in the valley there's no trains. Goes perhaps to a different valley. Let's see. So we are now indeed nearly at sea level again. Yeah, 14 meter. 14 meter. Because here, Jesus. Too narrow. And you can see the water 
and it goes here along the river. I told you it's always the end, which is the most interesting part. And this takes now a little bit longer than expected because yeah, I don't know why. It's longer than expected. That's the reason. Because 12 kilometer are over. My clock says 12 kilometer. So the mileage on the signs. Oh, the kilometrage was not correct. There's this kind of bay and here is a river, a uh, small creek and then we go up here again I don't know how long it is. Oh, this is really relatively flat creek here, and you can go there by boat here everywhere. It's such a huge terrain here where you can have so many empty spaces with your boat that you can hire, but it is uh, really a little bit expensive. For one person or two persons to go spend their three hundred dollar today, if you have three persons, well, I think this is much more interesting. Then here yeah, you can see the boats there. There's some people lying around. I would live here. I would have a boat here. Definitely. Starting first with a small one and then perhaps it gets bigger. But what will you do on the boat? I'm still not sure. No, I think this is nothing for me. So, so this uh, definitely takes a little bit longer, so then I expect to be there four or five at home with the Haymarket. And then the day is already over again. Look at this great view. There's even a palm here. I should sit here. Oh, there's a sign. It's not very steep there. And I think the people are jumping there. Look at the boat there. That's definitely a boat where you also can go to wherever you like in the world. And this looks like that you have a little bit more money. Such a boat. Jesus. I will make a rest stop here. Get my backpack. And uh, this is indeed wrong here. This is still two kilometer. What you can see, I think it must go there in this direction, two kilometer. And uh, so this should be then 15 kilometer more. 15. Oh, you can stay here, perhaps overnight, sleep here with your boat, and then go further. It's 
satellite connection, internet. Yeah. Expensive. And then you go to the next place. The thing is such a vessel is also okay in size so that you can really live there, that it's not too small. Jesus, 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 the palm. Someone wanted to get rid of the palm there. You can see this. Someone, but it survived. For what reason someone wanted to get rid of this palm here? Perhaps it's not a uh, species from here, but it looks nice. So with the sun out, you can see there how nice and clear the water is. The white sand there below. And now, I don't know, ah yeah, it's, a, it's the last two kilometers. I had a break there to relax a little bit. It's also not always walking, oh, but this is such a nice water here, this is so clear below. That's amazing. But you can't go there, only by boat here below. That's really some... No, uh... So, then the left side is the water. This is really low water there, I think. This is only some feet deep. Uh, not feet, we are not here in the non metric world, we are in the metric world, so perhaps one meter deep. Um, it's really nice here. This part is really nice. The other part, the first part, is still okay, but this is spectacular here. I don't know. Oh, the rock, it seems like that the rock came down after the tree was there. Jesus. It's such a rock. Going here through. And by the way, there's uh, so many tracks closed here, especially in the Blue Mountains because of rock slides and this was because of uh, heavy rain the last year and uh, perhaps you can also imagine that there's erosion much heavier than uh, with heavy rains but this was also uh, perhaps you remember the news from the beginning of last year that uh, there was very much flooding everywhere in Australia and uh, it's again such a rock here, but this is older, much older. And <coughs> there is everywhere some de destruction. Especially in the Blue Mountains. Everything close there. So if you want to go there, you should really check or call better the tourist information. Uh, what's open and what's not open because there, uh, what I've seen there was only one track open I mean not a, such a tourist track but a hiking track bushwalking track which is longer than five kilometer and they were all closed what I've seen <coughs> I mean uh, only uh, the mountains are very big yeah so I mean only Katumba and Blackies So, so. This 
white flag. The white flag. Jesus, I think I have to go over the mountains here again. Over the ridge. Yeah, starting from zero again. Then over 160. This was not expected. Did the trail goes along, but at the end I searched for a medium range trail. And this is it, and it is. So I'm not sure if I go tomorrow, but I should, huh? But if it takes again the whole day, <clears throat> let's see how long the train takes. So, so that's it for the day. The Robra. That's the highway to the north. There you can go to Brisbane, to Cairns. And nothing more. That's it. At the end, in the north direction, is then the, um, the what the house is called, the coral reef, the Great Barrier Reef. So, and there's uh, somewhere the train station. That's it. So, thank you very much for watching. It was indeed again 170 meter up over the ridge, so there's several ridges up and down. And what's this now? This is two, but I made a big break. Jesus, where do I have to cross here? I think here on the right side somewhere. No, it's there. I hope. Kovan. I hope this is correct. I don't see where I can cross if I would come here, but there would be something somewhere. Um, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this nice video. And see you then in the next video some, somewhere, from somewhere. It's definitely again from Australia here. Yeah. It's exactly 15 kilometer, 15 kilometer. And it took me four hours 42. So indeed, expect five hours. It's uh, much longer than I have expected. Jesus, what a station. Is it open here on this side? It looks like this is the official entrance. I always have to fear that there's a train coming. I don't get it really. And the next train is coming in two hours or never. Oh, there's the great, it's saying something, the great north walk. It goes here right. Yeah, there is perhaps a possibility to cross here somewhere. Is here a train coming? No. Mind the gap, caution, caution, CCTV, wallet ticket, no riding, no alcohol, no smoking. Nothing allowed. It's nice the train station here. And if you look here, there's even such a nice old sitting room, which is really old looking. In Germany, they have destroyed all this nice old looking benches and everything, these rooms. Here is only closed. I hope that it's also sometimes open. This is really nice, this is more than enough. Now there's no sitting room, no bench, nothing anymore in Germany. And not even a train station. Um, the good thing is, the train is coming in three minutes and it comes every hour. And it comes now in three minutes. See you. There's even Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi. And water, free water.